That's it. Heart rate stable. If we don't use human DNA now, someone else will. I adore you with your career choices, your film Thank choices. you, I appreciate that, I really do. What I notice, you know, you've worked with Terrence, the best of the best of them, Terrence Mallet, Spike Lee, and now Vincenzo. Natalie. Yeah, Natalie. Yep. Is that the reason why you joined this film? You know, I, I try to, I mean, I was very impressed by this script and by, by how unique this film is and, uh, you know, how many layers exist within a movie that, you know, is ultimately going to be a, a creature science fiction movie. Right, right. Because I wanted to find something that, you know, is very entertaining, but it, it doesn't rely on just its entertainment value, that, that there is a complex character within that for me to play, that there is a, uh, a flawed somewhat tragic yet comical individual in there that we can relate to and you know watch him make mistakes that that ruin you know his life and and I think that is that's fascinating and those are interesting so it's not isn't it? you do reprehensible things in the film yes yet they are almost seem forgivable I think part of it is youth and and ambition and idealism and there, there is, they're not bad people, and I think that it, there is a certain degree that is forgivable, um, you know, to some degree. I think Sarah's actions, Sarah's character's actions, uh, as the film progress, progresses, become a little bit more, a little, a little bit messed up. That I don't know if I could just, you know, they're, 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 they're they are unforgivable. But again, these all stem from other things in, in the character's past and problems and all kinds of uh, dilemmas that, and, and I think that's the problem in life. I mean, people, people who hurt other people in, in our world uh, often do it as a result of their own problems and their own pain and their own suffering, not because they're intentionally trying to hurt somebody else. So that, that is a, a wonderful aspect to incorporate into the characters in, in a, a fictional world. What happened? It's alive. The whole homage to Frankenstein, starting with... The names. Are... Very good, yeah, the names by uh, Colin Clive, who's 1931, Bride of Frankenstein, and um, Elsa, Ma uh, Manchester. That's right. Right. I mean, Very that's good. amazing. I love that. Very good. But I also love that the monster is very Frankenstein-like, where she eventually became the heart of the film. Mm. Yeah. And it's weird. You feel weird about it, sort of rooting for her. Well, right? Yeah, you should. Well, why should I? Why? Because that's, that's, because she's helpless in this. And that's, so, so is Frankenstein in a weird way. It's like, you know, they, you're created and you're thrust into this hostile environment, and, and you're, you know, look, I mean, this is a, a character that, that is, we're conflicted enough as, as human beings and throw in uh, a few different animal species into the mix, and you're going to have a very, j just instinctually uh, conflicted creature. She's become unstable. This is the disaster everyone warns about. You're having a monster of a summer, huh? You have this, and then predators. I hope so, <laughs> boy. It is a, it is a monstrous. Uh, it's a it's monstrous summer. summer. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. And congratulations. Appreciate it. Thanks. Nice seeing you again. Thank you. Same. A new species set loose in the world.